A local man traveled to the Ukraine border last month after collecting donations for much needed supplies. The connection that he established during that trip developed a pipeline of much needed supplies, which is still delivering on that promise of support. West Tuesday, Dave McDaniel caught up with him today about his pledge to help others. It's very satisfying and, and I see the results and that makes it all worth it. Mid-March, Kai Fuser felt his friends in Europe, especially those near the border with Ukraine, could use a hand and make a difference in a region under attack. Uh, it's very heartbreaking, especially now when I know people inside of Ukraine that are in the thick of things. Starting out with $45,000 raised through GoFundMe, Fieser made a pledge. You give $100, $100 will go 100% into somebody's hands in form of equipment, medication, food, and so on. He traveled to the border, saw what was needed, and developed a way to buy cheap and get it across the border into trusted hands. Fuser stayed in Europe longer than he originally planned, hoping he could build relationships that would last, relationships that would include warehousing and transportation of those much needed supplies. So now we have a way to buy at wholesale prices. Now we can ship things across the border because we got the trucking for it. It's also guarded trucking, so we're safe. His member partners continue to send proof. The effort is continuing to work. And for supplies not available at all there? And uh, they cried out to me for uh, tourniquets. There's no more tourniquets to be found with good quality ones. So he's buying those here and sending them over. Uh, I found a mission. I always wanted to do something like that. I just didn't know when and how. This came four or five weeks ago, and, and this is it now. So I'll be in it for the long run. If may be with insulin or medication or uh, protection equipment, even flashlights, or I sent some Mars and Snicker bars, some coffee, uh, their faces light up, of course, they haven't had anything like that. And, and we're actually, you know, we're saving lives, literally. In Orlando, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.